Hey guys, I just want to go through Boolean modeling real quick. So first off, if you don't already, you're going to want to enable the bool tool modifier. In order to do that, you go over to edit, preferences, type bool, and I already have it added, but if this check mark isn't checked, click that and just exit out. So Boolean modeling has its advantages and disadvantages. Essentially what it is, is you're using one shape to cut out a profile from another shape. And so I'll show you how to do that real quick and then I'll walk you through the advantages and disadvantages of using it. Okay, so there are four main tools that are used within the bool tool. The first is difference. So in order to use a bool tool, you have to select both your cutting object and your target object. Um, you can see the sphere is a separate object. And so the target object is always the act of selection, which is whichever object you selected last. And so right now it's the cube, but if I wanted the target object to be the sphere, I would just keep shift held down and click on the sphere, but I want it to be the cube, so I'll go back. Okay, so if I go over to auto Boolean and click difference, you can see that it used the sphere to cut out the sphere object from the cube. Okay, if we do the same for our union, we select the sphere and the cube, and then we click union. You can see it just created one object. Okay, intersect, so select the sphere and then the cube and click intersect. You can see what it does is the only part of the object that is still visible is what was intersected together. And if we go over to slice, you can see it used the target object to slice our Boolean object. So you can see that it cut out that shape from the cube, but it also cut out everything that wasn't intersecting with the cube from the sphere. So you have these four tools and they do pretty different things. They're all pretty valuable. The thing about Boolean modeling is in some ways it's too good to be true. And what I mean by that is, so if we take this difference output and we go and we go over to our modifier tab and add a subdivision surface modifier to it, you can see it's really, really, really messy. And the reason for that is that the geometry of this model is not even or consistent at all. And so if you're trying to create a high quality model, you can definitely use Boolean tools, but you're going to have to clean the model up significantly before you can add bevels or subdivision surface to it. Um, and what I mean by cleaning it up is you'd have to take the knife tool and add enough cuts to your object to where the topology is evenly distributed and you only have quads in your model. So Boolean modeling can be really effective under a couple of certain situations. So the first question you might want to ask yourself is what prominence is this model going to have in my scene? If it's going to be a background object that's not going to be seen very much and doesn't really need beveled edges or or much detail at all, then you might just be able to go crazy with booleans and, and make exactly what you want. However, if it's going to be the main component of your scene, then the way you use booleans, if you use booleans, is very important. If I were to assume that the model I'm making is going to be a prominent model and needs an appropriate level of detail, so essentially I'm going to try and use a boolean to springboard my subdivision surface modeling. So if I duplicate this cube and just drag it here and just, I'm gonna create a little cutout. Oops. So I'm going, I'm going to kind of push this together. I'm not gonna to spend too much time on it because that's not the point of this video. So I basically want this object to stamp out a profile from my cube. So if I intersect this how I want and then select my cube, I'm gonna click difference. So now I have this kind of cut out of my shape. And this is something that's much more simple in a Boolean workflow than it would be in a subdivision surface workflow. You would have had to play around with the modeling tools a lot more in order to get the specific shape rather than just cutting it out using Booleans. But we're faced with the same problem that we had before in that the topology is not very good. Now, 
Because this is a simple shape, we could just use the cut tool, the knife tool, and add cuts ourselves, or we could add modifiers. So if we added the remesh modifier, let's just take a look at what it's doing. And I'll use a sharp modifier and bring the depth down to three and I'll apply it. Now I have a model that has much better topology and I could add subdivision surface to it. And it's acting much more like I'd, I'd want it to work than if I just added the subdivision surface modifier to the Boolean. So with Booleans, I just wanted you to know how it works. I also wanted you to understand the pitfalls and I wanted you to have a basic understanding of how you could clean up your model in order to use it in high precision modeling. So I hope you were able to get that from this video and I'll talk to you later. Thanks, bye.